today we're going to be focusing on how to play with the dimensioning and constraints and to demonstrate what happens when dimensions don't go exactly as planned and how to fix your model shapes uh, to make them work uh, so they're more consistent. So ultimately we've got a shape here that I sketched out and it's not the right shape. Um, and so as we start to place dimensions on this drawing what will happen is that the shape will continue to update and change as we can see um, and the process of creating these dimensions at times may run into a situation where the actual dimension totally changes the shape of the part like here. So we went from a, a, a part that was actually shaped kind of like what we were looking for, but now it totally went cattywampus. And that cattywampus part now needs to get fixed. So how do you fix it? Because at this point, everybody freaks out. So the first thing is take a deep breath. Second thing is right mouse click and exit out of your dimensions. So just choose OK to accept your current dimensions. The third thing is, is recognize that any lines that are currently still green on my screen can be moved and modified back to a different position. So you can grab the data point like this data point and move it over to make it look like the object was before where we had a little bit of a shelf here. Same thing over here. This was a uh, chamfer, but it turned into a very odd angle. So we just move that data point back, and so the chamfer gets recreated. So now that you have the sketch back in a orientation that can be modified, and be aware that anything in green is flexible, in this case the height is flexible, uh, and then here the arc is still flexible. We can pull the arc in if we needed to. It gives you the flexibility and the capability of making the part fix without having to redraw the part or undo. And undo is still your best friend. In case something really happens and you're not sure how to fix it, you can first always check the green lines or the um, non-constraint lines, which are what the green lines indicate move them around and if it still doesn't work you can always hit undo to go back before the cattywampus condition occurred. Well, I know this is a quick hit video I just wanted to make sure I, I shared with that uh, shared with you that really basic capability and to ensure that you don't forget that you can still change the shape of the sketches as long as it's not fully constrained. Have a great day. We'll talk to you soon. Bye now.